Hello kids, Daddy's here. Right now, Daddy will show you a romance comedy film from 2007, titled Waitress. Be a good kid and subscribe to Daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead, watch out. This film tells about a woman who works as a waitress in a pie store, and her name is Jenna. She's living her passion of making pies and creating inventive pies with unusual titles inspired by her life. Jenna is stuck in a horrible marriage. It shows that she is checking out the thing through a pregnancy test pack, accompanied by her friends, Becky and Dawn. They both hope the best for her, but the result turns around what she wishes for. She has to deal with the reality that she's pregnant. She is trapped in an unhappy marriage with her controlling and abusive husband, Earl. She doesn't even want to have a baby. In order, she can stay away from him. Every day, Earl picks Jenna up after work. On the way home, he takes all of her money. Just in case, she can't use the money to run away from him. He tells her story about his day and becomes angry because she doesn't pay attention. As he threatens her to say sorry or he will let her out of the car, she forcedly asks for an apology. He is such a bad husband. At dinner, Jenna is concerned to borrow Earl's money to join a pie contest in a couple of months ahead but her husband won't let her go. When Earl sleeps, Jenna puts her rest of salary under the couch. The next day, she has a plan to meet an obstetrician for a checkup on her pregnancy and brings her made pie as a gift. It turns out that she meets another doctor. He is Dr. Jim, and he is filling in for the woman who has been her doctor since childhood, Dr. Muller. They finally get to know each other formally like doctor and their patient, as she explains to him that she doesn't want the baby but she's keeping it. Afterward, Jenna gives her marshmallow pie to Jim. He explains that he will handle her pregnancy for eight months ahead and lets him know if she has any questions. And he gives her a prescription for her vitamin, and they're going to meet in three weeks. She straightly heads to work and starts doing her job. At the moment, she serves an old man named Joe. He is the owner where she works. He has always been asking her a lot of strange things, but she patiently listens to him and does her job as well as she can. Earl calls her that he can't pick her up as she replies that she'll ask Becky to give her a ride. Before the store closed, she usually practices making pies with a new recipe. While she is waiting or the bus, all of a sudden, she meets her doctor. Jim's car wouldn't on, so he takes to home by bus. He starts the conversation by asking where she works and gives her a compliment about her delicious pie that was probably the best pie he has ever tasted. He also tells her about her old crush who worked as waitress like her, and Jenna makes him think of her, she blushes. Then, the bus comes and they begin to separate. At home, Earl begs her to have sex. She refuses him because she feels sick in her stomach. The fact that he still doesn't know she's pregnant. Her husband typical, so, she finally agrees. When they do it, she doesn't even enjoy it. In a day at work, Jenna calls Jim. She reports that she's bleeding a little bit, and then, Jim asks her to come and meet him. Next day, she goes off to meet her doctor and brings him a pie. Only both of them there, there are no people come yet. He begins to ask her about her concern. In his office room as he explains that she's perfectly fine and light spotting is a normal symptom. As Jenna replies and a little bit of anger shows from her face. She thinks he is so strange, she came here and he is only to tell her that spotting is a normal symptom, why would he answer through the phone? She means, she took full of effort to get here. And another strange thing more, why he came in here two hours early if office hours open at 9 o'clock. She is upset and says that she doesn't want him to be her doctor anymore and takes off. Sick, she forgets her purse, when she turns back as Jim is out, all of a sudden, she kisses him and leaves. She begins to realize the fact that both of them are married, it's unethical. But she comes back to kiss him again and again. Afterward, he takes her a ride to work and she says that she will call him if she has any questions or concerns. She got a present from her two best friends, Dawn and Becky. The present is a notebook, titled, What a Mama You Gonna Be? Despite the fact that she doesn't expect the baby but they want her to be a good mother. Suddenly, a thing comes up from her mind about those people who sell their babies for lots of money, so she can use the money, run away from Earl and join the pie contest. As they both aggressively answer that it's such a horrible thought ever and she shouldn't do it. She pushes herself to run away from Earl. She plans to ride by bus and join the contest. What a rude man, he knows her plan and finds her at bus station. He roughly slaps her face and forces her to get into the car. While they're on the car as she suddenly tells him the truth that she is pregnant. 
Earl feels disappointed about what she did about hiding her pregnancy from him. And he insists that if the baby is born, Jenna must always put him before the baby, and she could never love the baby more than she loves him. He is absolutely a sick man. As she back to meet Jim to check her first ultrasound, she sees her baby through a screen and hears a heartbeat for the first time. And then, Jim suddenly talks about that kiss. He tells her that they should officially forget about that nonsense between them at that time. But suddenly, they stare at each other and begin to kiss passionately, wilder and savage. The knock sounds out from the door, and it makes them stop. Before she leaves, he tells her that he wants to meet her on Friday for another appointment. Both of them are frankly attracted to each other, and throughout several prenatal appointments and love grows. She meets Jim and they start to make out, even in her every appointment. They impulsively initiate a passionate affair. One day, Dr. Muller has come back from her days off and become a doctor substitute for her appointment. As she explains that Jim and his wife had to fly back east for a funeral this morning. And Jenna seems jealous. Another annoying thing happens beside Jim, that's an old man, Joe. She has to deal with him like an everyday routine to do all of his weird requests but she patiently does. She has to be strong even she is too weak for some points. Suddenly, Jim visits Jenna's workplace. She straightly tells him that they should stop this relationship because she feels like a bad person. She asks him to finish his pie and takes off from this place. As she comes back, he has gone. The next day, Jim comes to her house. Jenna looks awful, then he gets into her house as he hugs her long enough and so softly. Once in a while, he kisses her as she teaches him to make a pie like her mother used to do it. He surprisingly gives her a present, and it's a golden plate. She thinks it's the most beautiful plate she has ever seen. And they both kiss. Here they are. Jenna and everyone there attend Don's wedding. The wedding party goes well until Earl interrupts the celebration and demands Jenna leave at once. He drives Jenna home and confronts her, having found Jenna's multiple stashes of cash throughout the house. He is upset because she is hiding it from him, then he cries and hugs her. Reluctantly, Jenna tells Earl that the money was for the baby and he forgives her. Earl takes all of her money which forces her to spend the money to conceal the true purpose of the funds. She's been tired of everything and tells to Jim that she hopes she could run away from everything with him. As he replies that she has to be prepared, he will bring her to some place. While waiting for Jim, all of a sudden, Jenna's water breaks. Earl straightly comes to visit her. At the hospital, Jenna discovers Joe is also a patient undergoing an elective procedure. He hands her an envelope with instructions not to open it until after her baby is born. She finally meets Jim's wife, Francine. She is also a doctor. The times has come, as she tries hard to push the baby out and finally, she gives birth to a beautiful baby girl. When she holds and sees her baby girl for the first time, Jenna's profound ambivalence melts into a full-blown bond with her daughter. She falls in love with her, and all the bad things she used to has about the baby has gone. She bluntly tells him that she hasn't loved Earl in years, will no longer put up with his possessiveness and abuse, and will not let her baby grow up with his mistreating her. She wants a divorce. Enraged, Earl attempts to assault her, but is escorted out of the hospital by security staff. Don and Becky come to visit her. They also inform her that Joe collapsed into a coma during his procedure. Then remembers the envelope Joe brought her before the birth. In the envelope she finds a handmade card with a sketch of her, inscribed, to my only friend, start fresh, along with a check for $270,450. She is stunned. Later, as Jenna prepares to leave the hospital, due to Earl refusing to pay her medical bills is retaliation for being kicked out. Then, Jim and Jenna talk about their relationship, as she tries to stop all the things between both of them and thanks him for everything he has done. Before leave, she then hands him a chocolate moon pie. Jenna starts her new life with his lovely daughter. As shown, Jenna winning the pie contest, as well as turning the diner into a successful enterprise named Lulu's Pies, and she and Lulu walk home happily. That's all for today kids. Help daddy by like and subscribe. See you on the next videos.